Twas the night before Christmas, so we are going to do a Christmas-oriented collectibles list for today. Hey, it's Don the Auction Professor here. Today is Christmas Eve, and with that in mind, we are going to do a Christmas Eve-oriented bolo list. And let's hop over there right now. So here we are. We've just picked a few. It's the holidays. We're going to make this short and sweet. We're just going to show you some Christmas books that sell for some insane amounts of money. This is Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. This is the 1843 first edition stave one. Now this is the designation of this printing of this book. These usually sell for 3000 to say 10000 or more, depending on the condition. This one has some issues, as you can see. Still an excellent, scarce book of Charles Dickens' classic, A Christmas Carol. Now, it doesn't have to be the first edition. There's many editions of A Christmas Carol that can still sell for some insane amounts of money. This is the 1915 first edition. This has Rackman, Arthur Rackman illustrations inside of it. That is the draw on this one here, $175. Now, there's many editions. Many of them do carry some sort of value, so you've got to be very careful with pricing this sort of thing. Now, there's a ton of books from the Victorian era that are all tied to Christmas. Thomas Nast is one of the artists that did a ton of the artwork from back in the day. They're all worth some decent money. This one goes for 850 bucks, even in the condition that you see it in. Not the best condition, no dust jacket or anything like that. Still close to a thousand bucks. Now here's another one. Now these earlier books were compilations basically. It's a big size binder size edition of this book, but inside of it, it has The Night Before Christmas. It was also titled Visit from St. Nicholas, so that's why you see it in the title of this listing, $225. Something most people would miss, nice example here. It's in many editions, and that one single factor can make it or break it. This may have only been a $10 or $15 book without that in it. Now here's an 1854 copy, The Night Before Christmas, and as it says, A Visit from St. Nicholas as well. So both of those actually are on the original editions of the book, so just keep that in mind. Nice Kris Kringle gilt design on the face as well. Almost $700, just a real nice example here. Excellent condition for an 1854 edition. Visit of St. Nicholas, again, the same one here. Thomas Nast illustrations, 1869. Nice early colored edition of this. One of the most desirable ones from this era like this. Now here's St. Nicholas and Christmas stories from about 1900 Victorian chroma plates. McLaughlin is one of the main companies that made books from the say late 1880s through the 1920s and even into the 30s and later. Excellent edition. It usually has a cloth spine with colored chromolitho plates on the front and the back. Nice edition, excellent artwork, just a fabulous book here, $375. Now here's Nistra's Holiday Annual. This has Lewis Wayne Christmas cats inside of it. That's why this one is so nice. Why it goes for $355. Next one here is an 1864 Illustrated American Christmas Gift Book. This was something with like Christmas stories you could give to the kids for Christmas. Expensive book back in the day, I'm sure. This is from England. It sold for $323. Excellent book here, to say the least. Nice condition, nice gilt, nice engraved artwork as well. And the next one here is A Northern Christmas by Rockwell Kent. First edition from 1941. It has the dust jacket. Excellent book. Nicely done. $268 on this one. This next one's the classic in my book. This is John Updike and Edward Gorey. Gorey did the illustrations. Gorey did a ton of just awesome illustrations in my book. Black and white, pen and ink style. 12 Terrors of Christmas. And this is signed as well. Something I personally would probably keep if I ran into this one. Now, if you've never seen this, I recommend going out and getting it. Get it from the library if you want, but it's an excellent edition. Now, this next one's from Tasha Tudor, and if you don't know who she is, you should honestly go stop this video and go look up who she is right now. She is well-known, well-versed. There's posters, puzzles, cards, all kinds of stuff that she did the artwork for. This is Snow Before Christmas. This is a classic first edition, $200, dust jacket and the whole works. She's got an incredible following. Her books are madly 
highly sought after. Just an excellent example of this edition. Now, this next one here is a double topic. It's a miniature book. Anybody who's watched the channel for any length of time knows that I love miniatures. I just did a video on creating a miniature Victrola record. I've got a link right up here if you'd like to see it as well. This is a limited edition one as well. $175 this went for. It's got 88 pages. And this is by Barbara Rahab. This is just an awesome book. She did many of these miniature little books. Limited edition. All of them go for hundreds of dollars. But the Christmas one right now is way up. This is an excellent miniature book to find. Now this next one here, we couldn't do a video and talk about Christmas books without having How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. 500 bucks for this edition here. These show up. They're not super scarce. They made a ton of them. There's a ton of second, third, fourth, fifth editions too. So you really have to know what you're doing in some of these because one book looks like another one unless you know the key little differences to look for. Excellent book here. Had it when I was a kid. Now here's one from one of my favorite directors, A Nightmare Before Christmas, Tim Burton book. This is a pop-up book as well. I've had many of the pop-up books. Almost any of the Nightmare Before Christmas original vintage books go for some good money. A signed Tim Burton's at least $250 or better for most of the ones that I've run into. So excellent example here. I would probably keep this one as well. $346.50. Now this next one's an Ivan Earl art book. These are illustrations from all of the cards that he did. Very prolific artist, did a ton of Christmas related images and artwork. $308. I have seen this book in the wild. This is an excellent book. I would probably keep this one as well. I do love art related books. Christmas are just the bomb. Excellent one here. Don't pass this one up if you see it. Now, these last two here are just a touch on this. These are called Wish Books when I was a kid, so I'm including these. This is a Sears Christmas book from 1968. Many of these were produced in hardcover bound book editions also, especially the ones you saw at the counter when you would go and order something. I remember the days of picking up the Sears book. Loved looking through it when I was a child. Christmas, this was the bomb. This was it when I was a kid for your wish book. And that's literally why it's titled the wish book. This one sold for $200 basically. All of these sorts of things from Sears, Montgomery Wards, JC Penney's, they all go for some good money. Let's just show you one last one here to pique your interest. Hardbound Montgomery Ward 1967 catalog. All the toys that you could imagine would be in there. These also carried exclusives that were only available at Montgomery Wards or Sears or JC Penney's or wherever the company was that the book was from. They did many toys like that, like the Cantina from the Star Wars set, just as a perfect example, some of the Battlestar Galactica figures. All of those genres had specialty toys that you could only get from a Sears, Montgomery Ward, or JC Penney catalog. You can't beat them another $200. But that's what I have for you today and I hope everybody has a good holiday. Well, there you are. Hopefully that'll give you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend. Mm -hmm.